Hello, everybody. Good morning and remain blessed in Jesus' name. Our topic today is divine wisdom and understanding. A person who possesses competency and knowledge and skill has great potential to succeed in life. When such competency is derived from God, it is referred to as divine understanding. Succeeding in life is all about recognizing and utilizing the opportunities God brings our way. Coupled with making the right choices in life, a person endowed with divine understanding is therefore able to excel in life because he or she has the ability to discern what is true, right and sound, based on God's word. God alone possesses the wisdom and understanding in the absolute sense, and he gives this to those who seek them from him with a humble heart. In relation to people, divine wisdom refers to the abilities God gives in every area of life, including craftsmanship, knowledge and insight for right decisions. Divine wisdom cannot be received by those whose confidence is based on human cleverness and insight without God's revelation. This kind of human wisdom may produce temporary sources in life, but it often comes to naught in the long run. Go and read the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 19 to 20. Understanding is built on the foundation of knowledge and the ability to use it correctly. There are different ways God imparts understanding to a person. For example, understanding can be received in the place of observing how others live or do things. Proverbs 24, 30, 32. It can also be acquired through studying God's word and his wondrous works in the universe. Psalm 119 to 130. Job 37, 14, 20. Understanding can also come from parental guidance or as a result of practical experiences in life. Go to the book of Proverbs 4, verse 1 to 5. Above all, it can be received through the impartation of God's Spirit in the place of prayer, as it happened to Solomon. Worldly wisdom and understanding build pride and false hope in people who go on to arrogant sources in life to, to, to themselves and not to Almighty God. This folly has led to downfall of many, many people and kingdoms all over the world, as seen in the example of Babylon in Isaiah 47, 10 to 11. No wonder Proverbs 26, 12 says, Sees that a man wise in his own conceit, there is more hope of a fool than of him. Furthermore, in Isaiah 29, 14, the Bible says, Worldly wisdom shall perish. The people of this world can never receive the wisdom of God. Divine understanding is only accessible to those who are willing to give up their reliance on human insight in exchange for God's wisdom. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 14, 15 says so. May the Lord fill you with divine understanding today. In Jesus' name.